Well, welcome back to the C Block. It's Bird of the Week. This Thursday, we're joined by Sarah Baxter and Jim Allen with Wild Birds Unlimited, and they selected the Bird of the Week for this week, and it is the Northern Flicker. Yay. Uh, we had a really great photo sent in by a couple from Hot Springs Village, um, and it's of a flicker that is hanging out on a feeder. And mm -hmm. this something like this suet feeder right here will attract flickers to your yard. A flicker is. is a type of woodpecker, and they're very common here throughout the year. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and they really like suet, and they're easily identifiable by those spots on their belly. Yeah. <laughs> and also when they fly, they have a white patch on their rump. Mm -hmm. So. And that was Bob and Carol from Hot Springs Village. Congratulations yeah. for it, getting yours picked this week. Is this, this a week. smaller woodpecker? No, he's no, a good a size woodpecker. woodpecker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he looks kind of big. He's in not, that. There it is. And there was, yeah. I guess. He's bigger than a robin. Kind of like a morning dove, almost mm -hmm. small morning dove. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I love the oh. colors, and I love that speck of... Oh. Was that orange or what would you call no, it? It's red. It's like, red. like a rusty red. Rusty yeah. red. Oh, they're so. beautiful birds. Mm -hmm. Is this the time of the year we would see them, or do we see them all the time in Arkansas? Or, uh, all the Sarah? time in Arkansas. I'm trying to ask mm -hmm. as many hard questions as I can. <laughs> all the time you in Arkansas. You can't stop, Sarah. <laughs> I, no, I, I can. don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is a good time of year where it's, you know, Valentine's Day, so we can talk about loving our birds. Everybody loves their birds, and it's really fun to try and attract them to your yard. And this weekend, there's an event coming up that is perfect for that. Um, and giving you a little focus when you're looking at your birds. It's called the Great Backyard Bird Count. Mm -hmm. And it's an event where you just pick any spot. Usually people do their yards, but it can be anywhere. And you count every bird that you see and identify it for 15 minutes. Huh. And you just write it all down and you turn it into the website, www.birdcount.org. Okay. And, um, and there you go. And then uh, you're con yeah. contributing to the greater body of science mm -hmm. in that way. Sir, sir, I can see where that would be a bit of a challenge if you've, if you've got a flock of uh, uh, sparrows and they all look the same. Uh, I'd be like, yeah, I just had one. 30, 35 <laughs> exactly. sparrows. That well, I think right, Jim's got right. some well, stuff to help us out well, with Well, that's, that. that's a very good point, and that's why we have uh, today kind of as examples of some bird books mm -hmm. that will allow you to uh, know what you're looking at out in your yard. Uh, there are different types of field guides with either drawings or pictures. And I was going to say, for me, because I'm, you know, mm -hmm. I'm challenged on this, so what would you do? You just kind of look at the picture, and then, or is it, I guess, how is it broken down in the let, book? Let me, yes, they're broken down by families of birds, but when you have, may I, mm -hmm. if, when you have this book, it is done by color of the bird. Oh, see, that's what I would need. That's what I would need. That's great for the beginner, color photograph definitely. photograph and a color tab that you, if you don't know it's a finch, you don't know it's a flicker, cool. you look in the brown section and you find it there. It that's can really be good. overwhelming to try and learn to oh, identify yeah. your bird. So if you just start off, and with the backyard bird count, even if you can't identify every bird, if you just turn in, you know, I saw 10 cardinals in 15 minutes, then that's good enough. Just whatever you can do okay. is, yep. uh, is fine. Now, if I see 10 cardinals in 15 minutes, does that mean that they are uh, moving someplace? Sales, maybe getting something to eat, they're gonna fly off. No, that no, just, just kind of you know, hanging out. This is pretty they like your house. They like it. Exactly. They like it. What would be an unusual bird that I would see this time of the year, either moving through Arkansas or moving back in from someplace? It, what would be unusual to see about right now? Um, that's a good. I mean, there's nice. a lot of stuff you take. He's dumb turn. I mean, the lesser goldfinch, like we had the other day, a red pole was spotted in Little Rock. Um, which is uh, very unusual. Probably a little early for gross beaks. So yeah, gross beaks are going to start mm -hmm. coming through soon. Mm -hmm. So the, the martins on the, are on their way back. The purple martins. Yeah, there have been and, a few sightings. Mm -hmm. Is it too early for hummingbirds? Mm -hmm. Usually, yes. For I the ruby throats that are migrating through, there were a couple that overwintered here. Um, yeah. Okay. But okay. All right. Soon in April. Soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and Bob and Carol. I mean, the winners from Hot Springs. What did they get again? They got the. They're going to get a the uh, Birds of Arkansas book. Okay, okay. That's They'll great. love it. Cool little book there. That's good. And you Point. just go to Wild Birds Unlimited located in the Heights mm -hmm. to pick that up, Bob and Carol from Hot Springs Village. That's right. Thanks so much. Let's do this. Jim, do you, what's your phone number in case somebody has a question for you about a particular feeder? Okay. Our, our number is 501-666-4210. All right. And great. Thank that's going to do it for us. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you, Jim. You're very week. welcome. And that does it for us today. Thanks for watching. Remember the news is always on today's THV.com with the occasional bird. We'll see you tomorrow. Bird of the week.